This is a crappy flight. How's it going? I am Evan Forbes, Canadian Hoser, and I was talking to an old friend of mine, and they're telling me how they can't wait to travel once this whole pandemic is over. Which kind of got me thinking, a lot of people miss travel. Whether it's to get out there and explore something new, or just to take photos for attention, people want to travel. This week on Handy Hoser, I finally found the solution. So if you want people to think you're adventurous, or you're like me and just want to mess with people, this is how we're going to do it. So my goal for this video is to put myself on a plane, put a picture of that on Instagram, and see if anyone notices. So you want to go out to the dollar stores and pick up some bounce boards, they're not really bounce boards, they're just like white cards, but like they actually work really well for bounce boards. To sell the fact that we're on a plane, we need the cliche shot of the plane wing. Cut a hole in it. I wish I had a sharper knife because I didn't and I'd use some uh, foam tape to put on the edges. So we need to sell the fact that it's actually a window. In order to do that, you need some sort of glass to have a reflection on. I'm sorry, Andrew, but a Racing Hearts poster fit perfectly. Now, attach that glass with the Filmmaker Secret Weapon. Yap tape. Through the glass on there, we got a perfect reflection, but we needed to show the outside of the plane. We needed something white. We needed something round. I have the perfect thing. So I got this nice backdrop stand for Christmas. Very easy to figure out. I love this thing. We got the thingy and we clamped it on there. I'm calling it the thingy. I'm sorry if you don't like it. There's the like button. So my frame wasn't big enough and I doubt yours will be for one board. So I'll throw another board on there and fill in the seam with some foam tape. Good to go. I can't trick anybody if there's no sky. So for that, we're gonna do the same thing I did for the Christmas special. We're gonna go on Pexel's website. We're gonna find a nice background we like. We're gonna go steal a TV, throw it onto the C stand. If you wanna know how I did that, I was going to make a video about it, but I was in a rush. I can make one if you want to know how. I got like a hard light here. So like if I go closer to the window, you can see the light actually hits me a lot harder. That's the sun. I want people to think I'm actually on a plane. Now there's a few issues. I have to time it properly. There's a loop right there. If it cuts the black in the video, I'm screwed. Probably just gonna do a boomerang on Instagram. I got this trim here. It's a really shitty job. If I put my hand here, maybe I can like cover this crap up. It's a pandemic. I need to be wearing a mask. So I'm gonna go get a mask, but I'm also gonna get a suit because I never wear a suit. So I just posted it. Hard work's about the payoff. I'm not talking about success because that's stupid. I'm actually talking about this set was very hard to build and I want to see if I can trick people. So let's see if that pays off. If you don't follow me on Instagram, Hoser Canada, follow me. I, I kind of want to try this more. This is kind of funny. Okay, 16 minutes since I posted it. Two people believe it. One person thinks it's a prop. Two out of three, that ain't bad. And actually two of the people I did trick are in film. I'm surprised how many people I did fool. A lot of people asking, where the hell are you? I just told everybody I can talk about it right now because I'm talking about it now. One person did guess kind of right, but she said it was a prop, so it's not a prop. Kind of, it, it's set decoration. Andrew's gonna correct me down in the comments. You look forward to his comment down there. And Michael, he also knew about it because I ended up going into a meeting with him right after, so he immediately was like, yep, that didn't happen. I'm only shouting you out because you thanked me last time and I really appreciated that. Now, everything I used in this video, I already had in the house. I tried to do that as much with Handy Hoser because I hate spending money, and especially when a pandemic is going on, you need to be creative when you're working on stuff. But if I did have a budget, of course, I'd make major changes. For one, I wasn't impressed with the wall or the window cutout, but it was still a cool experiment and it did exactly what it needed to do. It tricked people. Now that I think about it, it could probably replace a couple driving scenes. So, uh, speaking of driving, somebody reported me for not quarantining. Take off, users.